Hello everybody, it's Hater. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 build video. And in last week's video, we talked about just how overpowered and underrated lead from gold and double special weapon loadouts are. In today's video, we'll be talking about a double special weapon build for Warlocks that I made, basically allowing you to never die and wipe rooms even in GM level content. So without further ado, if you guys enjoy the build, leave a like on the video, comment any thoughts about double special weapon loadouts and if Bungie should nerf it. Also, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you'll stay up to date whenever a new Destiny 2 video comes out and follow me over at my Twitch where I focus mainly on Destiny 2 slash variety. It'll be in the description. If you guys would also like to use the build in today's video, there will be a dim loadout link down in the description. But if you guys missed last video, to put it simple, Lead From Gold is a perk that only rolls on special ammo weapons, and it makes heavy ammo bricks also give ammo to the weapon with Lead From Gold on it. Then if we have two special ammo weapons equipped at the same time, heavy ammo economy just flies through the roof, meaning we also always have ammo for the Lead From Gold weapon. What this basically does is turn our Lead From Gold weapon into a pseudo kinetic weapon, except it uses special ammo. As you can imagine, Weapons like the Cartesian Coordinate, Wastelander, One Small Step, and Ignition Code become better than they already were. However, one weapon that I did not list was the Deafening Whisper Grenade Launcher. That is because already this weapon is extremely good being able to synergize with a lot of things in the current sandbox. But when rolled with lead from gold, it becomes one of, if not the most broken mobbing tool we have in the entire game. In the footage in the background, I'm running a double special ammo loadout with Deafening Whisper in a GM level Nightfall. As you guys can see, it is not only shredding the 1370 adds, but giving me a bunch of ability energy at the same time. This is because in this build, we're gonna be pairing Deafening Whisper with the exotic helmet Nezarek Sin. Nezarek Sin's exotic perk, Abyssal Extractors, give ability energy to all of our abilities, including super, whenever we get a kill with something that is void damage. Meaning in the long run, we can pair this combo with any subclass in the game for Warlocks, just because of one line of text. When we get to the loadout inspect part of the video later on, I'll break down my armor and show you guys examples of different variations of the build. In the case of the background footage, I'm running stasis. So let's move over and break down the aspects and the fragments of the build. For the aspects, we're gonna be using bleak watcher to turn grenades into stasis turrets and glacial harvest so that freezing enemies spawn stasis shards giving melee energy back after picking them up. I'll explain more why we use this later on when we get to the mods, but for the fragments, we're going to use Whisper of Fissures so that whenever we shatter a frozen enemy or stasis crystal, enemies take more damage from the explosion and get hit from a further range. Next, we're going to use Whisper of Torment so that whenever we take damage from enemies, and it will be often, we'll get grenade energy back every time this happens. Next, we'll use Whisper of Bond so defeating frozen enemies give us more super energy, and then we're gonna use Whisper of Conduction so we can collect stasis shards from a further range. Feel free to change up the fragments to whatever you guys like, this is just what I prefer to run. Moving over to the mods that make the build, we're mainly going to use elemental wells that give healing and stacks of charge with light. Especially since Bungie is now indirectly nerfing taking charge, I feel elemental wells are gonna be the new meta. To start things off, we're gonna be using Explosive Well Maker, so whenever we get kills with anything considered explosive damage, it will create a solar elemental well. The primary use of this mod is so that we can create a solar well off of just killing enemies with Deafening Whisper. Because remember, as I stated earlier, it's a grenade launcher, but it is specifically a waveframe grenade launcher. Meaning that whenever we shoot it, it's gonna create a wave of energy that will hit multiple enemies. After we've created said solar elemental well from its wave, we're gonna make it do something besides just give us ability energy with the mod well of life so that we gain 10 seconds of constant healing upon picking it up. Meaning now our deafening whisper can create healing on demand. For the rest of the build, we're gonna be using elemental shards so that stasis shards we create from glacial harvest from earlier will all be considered stasis elemental wells every 10 seconds on a cooldown. 
Then to tie everything together, we're gonna be using Elemental Charge that both the Solar Well from Explosive Well Maker and Elemental Shards every 10 seconds will give us stacks of Charge with Light on top of their already amazing bonuses. Then of course, to use those stacks of Charge with Light, we're gonna use the Holy Grail of Mods Protective Light so that whenever our shields break, it consumes all stacks of Charge with Light and give a 50% damage resistance for 10 seconds allowing us to reset, get our health back, and get stacks of charge with light from Well of Life and Elemental Shards. Now that we've gone over every major mod in the build, let's move over and talk about the loadout, break down my weapons, and where I'm putting all of the mods in my armor. And the first thing that I'm going to note for you guys is whenever we're bringing this build into any endgame content that has champions, because Deafening Whisper can't stun them, we need to use our exotic slot just for champions. In other words, we're gonna have to look for exotic weapons that have intrinsic champion stunning capabilities. Weapons that are gonna get this job done are weapons like the Arbalist for anti-barrier, Bastion for unstoppable, and Lament for anti-barrier in the heavy slot. Unfortunately, when it comes to overload though, there isn't any kinetic or heavy weapons in the game as of right now, that don't intrinsically stun overload champions. So to cover that concern as of right now, we'll just use a heavy sword combined with the artifact mod Passive Guard. What Passive Guard does is allow us to take less damage while we currently have a sword equipped. But now that we've established an exotic weapon for our loadout, on my Deafening Whisper, I have it with Lead from Gold and Auto Loading Holster. I really enjoy having Auto Loading Holster just so I can swap over to my Kinetic Special Weapon or heavy weapon and not worry about having to waste time. If you guys decide to farm this out, you can get one from the Season of the Hunt focus engrams over at the helm. And I would also recommend giving auto loading holster a shot, but if that's not up your alley, something like Unrelenting, Wellspring, or even Rampage will get the job done. In my heavy slot, as I said before, I'm using a sword. In this case, it's a falling guillotine with Tyro's Blade and Whirlwind Blade. You guys can use whatever sword you have, something like the other half or half truce will do the same thing if not better, but that's just what I use. Moving now over to the armor and starting with the Nezarek Sin, I have it as solar with well of life at the end and both a linear fusion rifle and sword ammo finder. The reason I don't have a grenade launcher one is because my deafening whisper is my lead from gold weapon. That's always going to be a rule of thumb with the double special ammo weapon loadouts. Whatever weapon you're using with lead from gold, you want to use ammo finders for the other weapons that aren't. This will make it so that you're always getting ammo for your other weapons and your lead from gold weapon at the same time. Next up over at my arms, I have these as stasis with elemental shards at the end and overload sword next to it. Then of course I can swap this out to whatever champion mod I need at the time. Over at my chest piece, I have it as solar with explosive well maker at the end and two damage resist mods that I can also change out on the fly. Moving over to my boots, I've got these as void and mine are different because they're the artifice boots from Master Grasp of Avarice, giving me an extra mod slot at the end for artifact mods. At the end, I have the artifact fusion scav, protective light next to it, better already so orbs of power start instantly healing my shields, and a bonus insulation so orbs of power also reduce the cooldown on my rift. Finally, on my bond, I have it as solar and I'm using passive guard at the end with elemental charge and resonance siphon. However, if I'm not running a sword for whatever activity I'm in, I'll drop the resonance siphon and swap passive guard out to a particle deconstruction. Anyway guys, that is going to be the build for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.